Alright guys, we're here at Zen Jochis. We was gonna run run out a different track, but that track was too glitchy. So we had to come to Zen Jochis here for race four. Halfway through the season. And this will make or break a lot of drivers in the championship point half points halfway through this series season. Barney Ward, Barney Ward and Dylan Poti. How ironic, they got together last race and they're starting on the front row. Let's see. Let's see how these two race each other. There's Bob, Bob Marshall, Ryan Acosta, Tucker Nows, Levi Scones, Bill Raymond, Seth Cole, last week's winner at Bristol. Cody Lamas, Justin Perry, Connor Breton, Alexander Dawson. Next race for these guys will be at Martinsville. Then we'll do our first road. Then we'll do our first road course, and the only road course of the season in Watkins Glen. Here we go. Green flag is out. Five laps here for the modifieds. Here at St. Jotis. and they're gonna be going three wide. I don't think it could go five wide, but they're already four wide in the back. Look at Cody Lamas, self self. Uh, Justin Perry's all over Seth Cole right in the 63. Here they go. Down the back stretch. There goes Tucker Nelson in the 24. They're going to go three wide here. And they're bump drafting all over the place. Look at look at Dylan Pote getting pushed by Ryan Acosta on the top of the racetrack. And Connor Breen and Cody Lamas back there. And there's Barney Ward doing what he had to do. Look at the rear view of his car. There he sees there he sees Bob Marshall in that 112 Pizza Palace modified. Anyway, here he goes. Barney Ward is still taking the lead right now. He has Tucker now the rookie in third. Had a great race at had a great race at Bristol. And there's Bill Raymond, one of the guys that got in Tucker now at Bristol and started a controversy between those two. Anyway, Bob Marshall is in second right now. He hasn't got to win all season and he is trying to look at him in the back. They're going three wide, four wide again. Connor Reeton's in the middle. He's coming to help Levi Scones and Ryan and Alexander Dawson's up there as well. But it's all about Barney Ward right now as we're coming to the second lap of the race. And this is crazy right now with these modifieds. Who would ever thought they'd be drafting like this? They're five wide again. And I'm sounding like Alan Bestwick, but I don't care. Anyway, there goes Tucker Nelson on the inside. They're four wide. They're about to go five wide. Oh! Tucker Nelson was Tucker Nelson almost got loose right there on the outside. And there's Dylan Pote. Dylan Pote trying to push Justin Perry, I think it is. Yeah, it's Justin Perry. No, it's Bill Raymond. That's Bill Raymond. Justin Perry's on the outside of the kind of reading right now. And all the way on the outside is Ryan Acosta, the Daytona winner. And there's Seth Cole. Seth Cole has lost the draft. And there's Bob Marshall. Bob Marshall is still right there. I don't know if he could get by Barney Ward. Barney Ward, if he can win this race, he'll get up in the championship hunt again. After what happened last week at Bristol. And there goes Dylan Pote sitting right up there in third. This is where you want to be at Super Speedway Racing. There goes Bill Raymond. Bill Raymond has kind of written right all over him. And I'm surprised they haven't wrecked yet. Yeah! Oh! Ryan Acosta almost was involved in that and Seth Cole still can't get the draft but he's still right there and there goes Barney Ward in there three wide again look at Dylan Pote going the inside for the second spot oh Dylan Pote's in the wall no and this will end the race and Barney Ward will take the win this will end the race Barney Ward will win and they're five wide for a second. And Cody Lamas will get it. How about a finish for Cody Lamas in third place? Third place is that 73 of Bill Rain. No, the 91 of Justin Perry finishes third. His best finish of the season. 
finished dead last at Bristol. Oh, uh, how about that for Dylan Pokey? He will be finishing dead last. And Barney Ward will get his first win of the season. Here, here at Zen Jotis, he dominated the whole race. Nobody could get by him in this five five wide fiasco. We had a five laps here because it's the modifies it's a short race. So Cody, so Barney Ward takes the win here at Zen Jotis. Take a look at the replay. All right, Dylan Poti, Dylan Poti was going on the bottom. And he was taking it. He was about to try to get the lead from Barney Ward. He had a fast modified today. And this is what happened. Levi Scones got into him. And it looked like Bob Marshall came down as well. And look at Bob, Bill Raymond missed that. And oh, hard lick into the wall for Dylan Pote. And they're going like four wide for second spot. Cody Lamas didn't even look like he was going to get the second spot. Look at this crap. Look at that. Look at from TV2. Look at that. Look at that. They're four, almost five wide for the second spot. Look at Seth. I think that was Seth Cole down there, but yeah, Seth Cole was over over there. He didn't get into it yet. But anyway, we'll take another look at Dylan Drake. All right, there goes, there goes, there goes Dylan Poteet again. He had a great card, but. It looked like Bob Marshall just came down and got into him. He's going to take a hard lick into the wall. And that's going to end his day. For the mo Oh, yeah, I just noticed Mobile One is the sponsor of that. A Dylan Pote. And, yeah, he got stuck right there. And caution came out. This this is looking to be a great finish if, if we could have got to. If we could have got to the end of the race. Everybody was racing clean. Just. Just a little mistake right there in this pack racing, and that that's what happened. And we'll see you for the result. All right, congratulations to Barney Ward for his first win of the season here in the modified series. And we have Cody Lamas, Justin Perry, with a nice finish. Ryan Acosta, he may try to get up into the points lead because Seth Cole finished eighth. Bill Raymond, Alexander Dawson. Seth Cole, Connor Breton had a great car, but just to dra didn't get into the draft to get up, try to get up in the top five. Um, Bob Marshall, Tucker Nouse, and Dylan Pote had a great car all day, but but um but he got turned at the end. It was looking like it's gonna make a great finish, but tough break for him. And we'll take a look at the standings. All right, Seth Cole is still in the lead, but Alexander Dawson is really coming after he got a great finish at Zen Joltis. Barney Ward, after his win, put him all the way up to uh, all the way up to third in points. Ryan Acosta is fourth. Connor Breton, Connor Breton's fifth, and these are the top five that look like they might go for the championship. Cody Lamas sixth. Tucker now seventh. Uh, Levi Scones 8th, Bill Raymond, and Dylan Pote. Tough break for Dylan Pote. If he finished good, he probably would have been up there. And there's Bob Marshall and Justin Perry in trouble. Yeah, Justin Perry dead last in points. So we'll see you for race uh, 5 at Martinsville.